Hello, Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly. Really excited to bring you this idea. We're going to look at Speed Clock and we're going to do a little demonstration with my daughter Emily running through, um, basically running through the scene and then we'll do some actually looking at it. So I'm about to press start recording, but if I just go back, I'll just show you quickly. We're going to do the speed velocity one. Uh, you can press up I, it gives you a little tutorial on how it works. But I'm just going to start recording. Oh, hang on. Before I do that, I'll just go back to the menu. Meters per second. Let me just set up my results. Emily is about probably uh, two meters from me. So I'm just going to set that up first. And now we should be ready to go. So I'm going to get back, open up the speed velocity menu, speed velocity. And when I say go, Emily, I'd like you to run across the screen and go. And then I'll stop recording. And what I can do here, thanks, Emily. What I can do here is I can go backwards and forwards. So I'm going to go right back to the start and go right back to the forward. There she is there. So I'm going to bring her back and just do it when she's just in shot. And I'm going to see how quickly she's moving by setting the point there and then going right through, keeps hitting the point, and then as she actually exits, go through, and it's got tracking set point, oh, sorry, let me go back out, I've got the set end point there, set out point, Okay, I might do that again. Let's reset that. I'm going to go back to where she first came in, about there, and that will be my set in point. Then I'll go to the where she finishes and put that over there and press set out point. And what that does is it does a tracking, and now I can actually see at the different points where she actually was and the different distances and I can actually save those results. So there's the results there. You can see the meters per second that she was moving at. Some wonderful data there from Emily at the different points that she's actually got. And I can save that data as well, which is fantastic. So this is just a great way of looking at Emily at different stages and looking at the top meters per second and how she's traveling. And what that will do is give us some really great data on how quickly she's accelerating um, speed of change, track time, and all these wonderful things, and how long she's actually been running for. This would work great over a longer period of time, about 10, 20 meters, but it's a really great way of incorporating um, velocity, but also some statistics looking at um, measurement and time and those sort of things. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.